Hello and welcome again to William Sound Studio. I'm Tim. In today's video, we are going to be setting up the studio monitors to the K20 system using Pink Noise. And we're going to be taking you through everything step by step. And I've got some pretty cool animations and slides to help explain everything. Let's get started. So let's look at the monitor and SPL setup first. We'll be using the input gain on the left hand and right hand monitor to change the volume and the pink noise needs to be output so that the SPL meter reads 83 decibels for the left monitor, 83 decibels for the right monitor and 86 decibels when both monitors are outputting pink noise at the same time. In the slide I'm showing a dedicated SPL meter but you can also get phone apps which do a pretty good job. When you set up the SPL meter you need to put it on the C weighting and fast. Here you can see that pink noise is being output by the left hand monitor and by changing the input gain to that monitor we can affect the level which is picked up by the SPL meter. So we want to adjust the input gain to match 83 decibels on the SPL meter and it's the same for the right hand monitor. Pink noise being output needs to read 83 decibels and we can change that output level by changing the input gain on the monitor. The final step for K20 calibration is to play pink noise through the left hand and the right hand monitor at the same time and confirm that the SPL meter reads 86 decibels. The first thing that I like to do is to set any volume controls to the top center position. So on the Mackie controller, the volume position is set to the top. I use the top position as it's easy to remember and it's also easy to lower or increase the volume. I do the same for my focus right. So the volume output level uh, labeled monitor on the unit I also set this to the top position again it's easy to remember if anything ever gets um, knocked or if we need to change it for any other reason I know that by putting this volume control back to the top and the Mackie back to the top my levels are set to K20 so here on the back of my monitors is the input gain. Turning the input gain clockwise increases the volume and counterclockwise reduces the volume. Um, these are Yamaha MSP7s. Um, the input gain is on the back. Um, not all input gains are on the back. Uh, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them for your own monitors. So as I said a little bit earlier, I'm using a digital SPL meter and we need to set the weighting to C and the speed to fast. The next thing to do is to place the SPL meter in your listening spot. Here you can see I've mounted it on a stand And as we move around the room, you can see that it's directly in front of my workstation and in the middle of the two speakers. So next I've set up a session in Pro Tools. I've imported the K20 pink noise file. This is a stereo file. So I've split the channels one to go to the left and one to go to the right. I'm playing the pink noise file through a loop 
and that way I don't need to worry about stopping and starting Pro Tools as I'm working. I have my metering set to K20. You can see that the green metering indicator is hovering around the zero of this K20 meter. Okay, so now I've set the camera up just in front of the sound meter. You can see that the background noise is around about 37 decibels. And as I play the pink noise file with the monitor gain setting as it is at the moment, the SPL is reading 74, 75 decibels. So I need to increase the input gain to the left hand monitor. And you'll see as I do that starts to read around about 83 decibels which is perfect. And now stop the track and go to the right hand side, play the file again, adjust the input gain on the right hand speaker and also match until the sound level meter reads 83 decibels. And for the final confirmation, I unmute both channels so that pink noise is coming from the left hand and the right hand monitor and confirm that it is 86 decibels, which it is.